by hydrogen bonds are highly soluble in water. This makes a lot of sense because they can form hydrogen bonds with water molecules when they get into water so they can they can easily dissolve in water. So ethanol, ammonia, all of them are very soluble in water. Simple molecular compounds do not conduct electricity because they have neither mobile ions nor mobile electrons. You can see that there are no char charged particles, there are no electrons which are free to move. So they do not conduct electricity. Now water has a high surface tension compared to other liquids because of hydrogen bonds. Let me explain this point to you. So surface tension is basically the upward force you experience when you try to put something inside water. So you must have tried this at home. Whenever you try to drown something into water, you feel a push on your hands. You feel a push on your hands and that's that push is applied by hydrogen bonds and these hydrogen bonds because they apply that push water has a high surface tension that push is called surface tension so water has a high surface tension ice is less dense than water now you know that solids are usually more dense than liquids right because density is equal to mass per unit volume solids have a smaller volume because they are packed together so they are less dense than liquids. Now there is an exception, ice is less dense than water because of longer hydrogen bonds between molecules of water than in the liquid itself. So what happens is that in water the hydrogen bonds are short but in ice the hydrogen bonds are longer and they are more stable. So because they are more longer and they are more stable, the water molecules are more spread out in ice. In ice the water molecules are more spread out. So what happens is that because they are more spread out, the volume is larger in ice and because the volume is larger in, in, in the solid compared to the liquid, ice is less dense than water and that's why ice floats on water. So there, uh, before we come to the shapes of molecules, there's something more you need to know that I forgot to mention over here about hydrogen bonds that H, we have H2O, we have H2S. Now, if, if you see, oxygen and sulfur are in the same group of the periodic table. And given what we studied in, in, given what we studied in the intermolecular forces slide, given what we studied there, the sulfur atom has, is larger and has more electrons than the oxygen atom. So the intermolecular forces between H2S molecules should be, should be stronger than those between H2O molecules, right? However, those the, it's the opposite and it's the opposite simply because of hydrogen bonds because hydrogen bonds are stronger than the permanent dipole-dipole forces in H2S and that's why water is a liquid at room temperature whereas H2S is a gas at room temperature, completely opposite. It usually goes from gas to liquid to solid, here it is going from liquid to gas and it's all because of the hydrogen bonds between water molecules. So now we are coming to the shapes of molecules and this is a very interesting topic and a lot to do in this topic. So a molecule has a particular shape because of the repulsion between pairs of electrons. So we know about the two types, the, the two types of pairs of electrons. We know about bonded pairs of electrons and we know about lone pairs of electrons, right? We know about the bonded pairs and we know about the lone pairs. So electrons have uh, electrons are negatively charged. So obviously you expect some repulsion to happen between the electrons. And because of this repulsion, we get particular shapes for molecules. So the repulsion between lone pairs and be between two lone pairs is the highest. The repulsion between two lone pairs is the highest. Remember that. The repulsion between lone pairs and bond pairs is slightly smaller than this repulsion between lone pairs. The repulsion between lone pairs and bond pairs is slightly smaller. And the repulsion between bond pairs of electrons is the smallest compared to all three. So we, we, we say LP LP repulsion is stronger than LP-BP repulsion which is stronger than 
PPVP repulsion, which is loan pair loan pair repulsion, is stronger than loan pair bond pair.